Hi guys, this is a video showcasing the third project from the Unity DevSlopes course that I've been taking. In this 3D game, uh, you take control of a hero and try to fight off waves of enemies. The waves consist of these three enemy types and the increase in number steadily as the game goes on. The game will start with this menu screen, it shows off the enemy types and the hero and a few of the animations and you can click on battle to get into the game. So I'm going to be trying to talk with talk while I'm playing, so you have to forgive my forgive me if I'm not doing very well. But yeah, so the game, the hero will uh, follow the cursor around, and left and right click will do the attacks, and W A S D moves the hero around the map. You can all ah, so you can uh, as you can see the waves get stronger each as they go along. Well. More, pe more enemies in each wave. In my opinion these archers are the most dangerous because of the ranged can really catch you off guard. Soldiers aren't really much of a problem. And the third enemy is these ogres which are stronger, they take more damage but they're a bit slower. They take more hits to kill them. Ah. So as you are wandering around fighting off these waves which are, as I say, getting stronger your health, you can see your health in the bottom left and the current wave number in the bottom right you see this little health love heart here it's popped up, this is a health power up there are two different types of power ups in the game one of them is this simple health pack which helps you regain some of your health and the other is a speed power up and hopefully we'll get one of those soon so that shows my health re regen a bit I'm picking up that ah, down see you can move around the map relatively easy <coughs> Need to take the, take down the uh, archers first. I think they're definitely the, the biggest threat. We have another health power up here to regen me to full. Oh, I'm going hit. So as we. Uh, Play, the, play through the game, hopefully we'll get the second type of power up but I'll tell you what it does um, the speed power up is a little lightning bolt in the same way as the, the heart for the health pack as you pick it up it will double the character's movement speed so you can quickly run around spinning killing as many, killing as many enemies as possible and you tend to be able to keep out of their reach due to your movement speed so it's quite good quite a powerful thing so what I'm doing now just kill these off yep and the uh, as I was saying the speed power up also leaves behind a little fire trail which is nice which uh, follows the the hero around it doesn't do any damage but it has a nice effect and I'll hopefully try and find an example of that before the end of the video Uh, how many power ups have we had? We had three, haven't we? The uh, I believe there's a cap on the number of power ups that can happen in a, any one game of four. So I think we've just been very unlucky here with only having the health power ups. But I think we should be able to drag it out. The power ups happen once every minute. Don't know if I've said that or not. Ah oh, no, I'm stuck. So, oh yeah, we are. There's a speed power up. So what I'll do. This is the last power up of the game. As you can see, the nice fire effects. I need to not get killed by this archer. 
The fire doesn't hurt anybody, but it just looks nice. I need to get this archer before it does that to me. Is it? No, it's still there. Uh, I'm one shot off death. This is going to be a risky one. Sudden death here. And the last wave. Last enemy. Oh, no. We lost. We're going to take you back to the main menu and you can start the game again. But anywho, uh, thank you for listening. Uh, the next project will be up shortly and as always I recommend this DevSlopes course it's excellent for anyone who's wanting to learn Unity uh, and I'll speak to you soon thank you very much <laughs>